Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass, and today I'm just going to discuss how to optimize your image for your Shopify website. This is going to include all tags, visual optimization, as well as compression for your images. The reason why you want to spend time on your images is that the images are the cornerstone of any e-commerce website. They show the customer what the product is, how big it is, what color it is, how it will fit in a certain scenario. They really want to see the details of a product before they buy it. This also includes for apparel, if someone has tried it on, like you go to any clothing website and they always have models, the sizes of the models, so people get an idea of the fit of the item. So to start, I'm going to go to my Shopify store right here, talk about how you can edit your image in the Shopify platform. If you're good at products like Photoshop, you might want to use those because that can give you more customization. But if you want some basic visual editing, such as cropping, you can do it right in Shopify. So to do it, just click on any product. I'm going to click on my nice t-shirt product right here. And you want to click on the image. So I have this white t-shirt right here. You want to click on it and then you want to go to the bottom. So you have three options. You can crop, you can rotate, you can draw on your image, or you can resize it. Resizing has to do with the pixel size of an image. Maybe it's too large and it's taking too much of your web page. You want to compress it a little bit, or you might want to compress it a little bit here if you're maybe optimizing for size. It's like 3000 by 3000 pixels, something that's quite large and quite heavy for users to load on your website. So I'm not going to end it out here because 225 by 225 is quite small. So just to show you a crop here, and there are several options, your original freeform, you can just a size, square will cap it at a certain size, and it'll give you certain ratios. For now, I'm not going to crop the image because it's quite a small image and I don't want to cut off any of the t-shirt, but you can also rotate it left, right, or you can flip it as well. It's horizontal, maybe you want a different aspect there. So that's visual editing in Shopify. It's quite easy to do and it does it automatically and it saves you having from to download an image and then re-upload it, trying to do customization on a computer through another platform like Canva. All tags tell Google what the what image is about. So if someone searches for white t-shirt, Google's not going to know what your product is unless you specify to them. This is giving them a very clear idea of what to show for your image. So if I were to put white t-shirt, t-shirt, <laughs> men's here. That's going to tell Google if someone searches for a white t-shirt and men's, my image has a chance of showing up because Google knows exactly what it is and can maybe index there and put product images that will help serve the user better. So that's all text. It's really easy to do in Shopify. And the last thing is image compression. So image compression is it's going to take your regular image and it's going to take away some of the pixels and just decrease the size without losing a lot of the quality. And there are plenty of great apps to do it on the Shopify platform. I just loaded one right here. It's called Image Optimizer. They're quite affordable. Sometimes you pay the number of images, you pay per image. It really depends on the size of the site you have. You might want to look around and find the best plan for your site. If you only have a few images, a great option is tinypng.com. You just want to download your image from Shopify to your computer, upload it to time, tinypng, and it's going to download for you. And that's just going to compress your image by 60 to 70 percent. The same as these image platforms. This is just free, and if you only have like five or six products, it's just easier to do this rather than hassle of setting up an app. But overall, that's how you optimize images on your Shopify store. It's an easy thing to do. It's a lot of things people miss, a lot of thing. It's an easy thing to do. It's something that people really miss out on, and you should be doing it right away because images are one of those things that take up the most space for a user to load. And you want your speed to be as fast as possible. You know, we all know that quote by Jeff Bezos, how he said, I think it's like 0.1 seconds gave him like another hundred or gave Amazon another hundred thousand dollars in revenue for every one second they decrease the website. Obviously this was quite in the early days, but you really want to have your website as fast as possible and give that user the satisfactory experience. All right, this concludes the video on how to optimize your image for your Shopify store. If you haven't yet, click that like and subscribe button below and comment if you have any questions. Thank you. Mm -hmm.